I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today I'm going to show you some of the top things to do here at one of my favorite resorts on the Las Vegas Strip. We're at the Venetian Las Vegas. There are plenty of things to do in Las Vegas. There's a plethora of restaurants, bars, nightclubs, gaming, sightseeing, and all of the attractions. Even though I grew up visiting Las Vegas since I was a kid, and I've lived here for about eight years total, there are still a bunch of things on my bucket list that I still need to get to. And it is also my birthday weekend, so it seems like a great time to knock some of these things off of my list. We are hitting some of the must-do spots that you might want to add to your vacation list, all right here at the Venetian. We're going to do an attraction, we're going to get some food, and then we're going to stop at one of the top lounges for a drink. The Venetian Resort shares a complex with the Palazzo Resort, and together they are the second largest resort in the world. You can fill your whole vacation in this resort alone. But let's get straight into it with something that has been on my bucket list for a really long time, the gondola rides at the Venetian. The gondolas are a famous attraction here in Las Vegas, a Vegas must see and must do, especially for a romantic moment, but it is also kid friendly. Hours of operation are 10 to 10 daily for the outdoor ride and it goes a little later for the inside ride. Some nights they are open until midnight. Then both rides are about 12 minutes long in length. So getting your tickets was really easy. You just walk up to the booth. It was a 15 minute wait on a Friday at one o'clock. I thought they'd be way busier. Though she did say the indoor gondola ride was about a half hour more ways. Pricing starts at $34 on the slow days and then $39 on the busier days per person. And there is no locals discount, which is probably why it's taken me so long to do this. But I honestly can't think of the more perfect day to cross this off my list. Now we can take all of the photos and videos you like in on your own devices. You just have to make sure you get like inside. All right, which side is that? Well, if I turn around and meet the over, oh, <laughs> if you on that side, then I got the midnight. I feel like it's a bad uh, hey. You have two options for rides, so you can take the outside ride along the front of the resort, or you can do the inside ride around the Grand Canal shops. Both options, though, will have you floating beneath bridges, under the balconies, besides the cafes, and then both options will also come with a live serenade from a singing gondolier who also guides your way. We ended up choosing the outside ride because it's just such a beautiful day out. The sun is shining and the fresh air feels so good. And then the other Vegas resorts in the background just make for an awesome view. I absolutely loved it. Our gondolier was amazing. He was an amazing vocalist and he also had a lot of jokes in there. So I definitely would say to come check out the gondola ride. I think I want to come back and the next time do a private ride because they do offer that for about $150. So even though there's two of us, we can do a private ride if we pay a little bit more, basically paying the price for four people, which is a private ride in that case. Really loved it though. Maybe one time we'll do the indoor as well. I think it goes without saying that you will not run out of food options at this resort. They have everything from quick service all the way up to the fine dining restaurants. And they also have multiple food courts and a whole area that they call restaurant row. There is something to eat in almost every corner. But if you are into burgers and over the top milkshakes, then you might want to check out Black Tap. This is our restaurant of the day. They are popular for their upscale but not fussed up burgers and their crazy milkshakes are known all over the world. They also have an outdoor patio that will sit along the gondola route and I've just always wanted to grab a milkshake at Black Cat. It was about a 25 minute wait and you give them your phone number and then they will text you when your table is ready, which is really cool because then you can spend that time just kind of walking around and doing a little bit of sightseeing, which of course is a must do here at this resort. You're heading over towards the lobby. They have all those beautiful murals everywhere. And then of course that whole outside section with the replicas. This whole resort is just freaking amazing. I definitely opted for the patio. It is just such a beautiful day out. And I think that the patio is a big draw to this restaurant. I mean, look at this view. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so here's a quick look at the menu. They have snacks and sides, salads there, wings and tenders, definitely a bunch of different kinds. The Mexico City, the Texan burger, the old fashioned bison burger. They even have a vegan option, it looks like. They also have chicken sandwiches. And over here are the shakes. I am definitely getting a shake today. They also have a cocktail menu here. 
including slushies. That sounds really, really good, but we're gonna go to a different spot for a cocktail after this. I had to come in and check out the section where they make their milkshakes because it looks like a literal candy shop. There is so much going on here. They have quite a few different types of milkshakes, maybe 10. Look at this though, they've got it all set up. So here are the cups that the shakes come in. And oh my God, what is that one? Is that one hot Cheetos? <laughs> And here are the cakes. So they put a whole slice of cake on top of some of those milkshakes, including a birthday cake one that I might have to do. They also have a Vegas Golden Knights one that I've got my eye on. So one of those. So you and I are going to share the burger today. And then we're also going to get a shake afterwards. So what did we get? We got the Greg Norman. The it's a half pound Wagyu beef burger, house buttermilk dill, blue cheese, and arugula. All right, that looks bomb. Oh, you can also put the tomato with the pickle on top of it, it looks like. And their fries look good. They look really crispy. Look at, oh, it's juicy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. All right. You already ate yours. What did you think? Oh, thanks. On a scale of one to 10. Okay. Oh, all right. There are a lot of flavors on here. The meat is definitely super tender. I guess the word is very soft. Just bite right into it. It kind of melts in your mouth. Uh, the, also, the blue cheese is just screaming at you. It took a second and then all of a sudden I just got like a, a burst of blue cheese. Most of their burgers range between 19 and then probably 25 at the very top. So the price ranges here are kind of in the middle. You know, there's definitely fine dining in there, but then you can also grab to go or uh, counter service or quick service. A lot of different options here at the Venetian. But I wanted to go with something in the middle. Plus, you just can't beat this amazing view. I love the bell chime every hour. Bro, look at this freaking shake. This is intense. There is a literal whole slice of cake, a big thing of dollop of whipped cream. The ice cream is also cake batter. This is just a whole bunch of stuff that I love. I mean, can you think of a better type of milkshake for me? Yeah. I absolutely love pink batter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is bomb. That literally tastes like when you're making a cake and you got the cake batter. This is exactly like that. Of course, there are a ton of bars and lounges around here, but I've been meaning to check out the Dorsey Cocktail Bar. So this is a modern and elegant cocktail lounge with old school service that really highlights their cocktails. They focus on drinks that are made with high quality ingredients and the juices that they use for the drinks are freshly squeezed daily. I do love myself a good drink, but I'm pretty simple. I'll take basically a classic margarita any day, put a little salt around the rim, but I have been trying to branch out a little bit with my taste since we moved back to Vegas. They currently have a Zodiac menu with an Aquarius drink, but unfortunately they don't have it available today. But that's okay though, I'm sure we will find something that sounds good. Here's their cocktail menu here. It looks like a lot of their drinks are $21. Ooh, spicy flamingo, what's that? They've got tequila, lime, watermelon, agave, and spices in it. That's really freaking good. <laughs> okay, this is a bomb drink. I love the tahini, I like the watermelon. I'm getting a lot of the tequila, but not enough that it's like intolerable. It's, this is really good. Okay, friends, thanks so much for joining me things to do here at the Venetian. There is so much to do in Las Vegas. I have been wondering how to go about things to do in Vegas. I can do a compilation best of, but I also wanted to show some of the smaller things. So probably by property or also by theme, I'll be breaking these up and bringing them to you guys. These were my top things that I personally wanted to do here at the Venetian. I had such a lovely day, such a fun birthday. Thanks so much. And until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.